Yo YouTube, what's good? It is your boy ZVJ coming back at you guys again today with another banger. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Zenkai USTR and the whole drama that's going on right now. People are complaining that it's too hard. And this video is going to show you guys how to beat it, tips and tricks and all that good stuff. So with that said, let's jump into this video. Alright, so first things first guys, boost units are very, 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 very important. So what you want to do is you want to find out the boost units for each stage. On rush 3, it's basically regen and powerful opponent. Rush 2, I think it's something else. I'm not really too sure. Like I, I just like beat rush 3 a while ago. It took like forever, right? So boost units are very, very, very important. That's the first thing, right? And the second thing is that you guys are going to want to um use the float step method. If you guys do this without the flow set method then you're pretty much insane honestly like i don't see how you can beat this shit without the flow set method so basically what it is is you use a card you float up and then use another card basically essentially dropping your combo and what the ai will do is they won't know how to react so they're either gonna tackle or stay still right and it works like flawlessly if you do it correctly like just keep drop comboing over and over and over again they're gonna get back your vanish you're gonna get key you're gonna get a new card as well so it's very efficient it's just really 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 fucking boring doing this shit honestly like pve toshi fix your fucking game dude so but yeah that's pretty much what you guys need to do first you need to figure out the boost units next step is gonna be mastering the float set method against the ai and the other thing is that let's say for instance that the bot does a blast card what you guys want what you guys need to do actually is tap the bot and then immediately go for a blast card in your hand and the bot will not well for me personally i think it's like a 90 percent chance or something to like the bot will just be still all right so if they blast you and you dodge it and it's not a perfect vanish just tap them and then immediately after your tap ends just go for a blast card and they're gonna get hit like 99.9 percent .9 of the time so i use the float set method in conjunction with the tap tap tapping them after they use their blast card and pretty much just like demolished these bosses honestly and the the one fight that pissed me off the most is actually ui goku because you cannot drop combo against ui goku because his gauge is just, just gonna let him dodge anyway so it's very difficult um beating that stage but i use red zamasu i use red zamasu what say? i use i use red zamasu green cell and champa being that stage it was it was flawless i was just clapping cheeks and all that good stuff and on the final stage I use the free to play Buhan, Mirzamasu, and Red Cell. Now, sadly, because my phone space got folded up, I don't have any footage of me beating that stage basically. But I do have a screenshot right here where it's two concepts and the Geo Blue is practically almost dead. So, all I had to do was go into the game of the two blue units and the one region unit and then just to get the conditions and just be like that. So, what, and also another thing too, when you actually do these stages, do not go for the conditions do not go for the conditions at the start what you guys want to do is pick color counters for every unit that's gonna be that you, you, you're gonna go up against right and then get them to low 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 health and then bring in the condition units like a Vegeta family member a blue unit and so on and so forth after you complete the martial stage get them to low hp and then you bring in the condition units beat it and then you should have the conditions completed right do not beat the stage on your first attempt guys just get them to low hp and purposefully lose and then after that go back in the stage and just clap your cheeks with the condition units now my overall thoughts on this mode is basically toshi what the fuck the the ustr the, the, doing this shit like every two weeks is gonna be stressful as fuck for for most players right and this is my free to play god account like i did on my free to play god account so none of you guys have any excuses i made this kind of like three weeks ago none, none of you guys have excuses now is it is extremely tedious i will say that and it's not fun at all so i don't blame me if you don't like this game mode at all because it's really fucking garbage but yeah that's pretty much it for this video so as i mentioned before boost units very 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 fucking important the next step um is to master the float set method so you can just continuously combo the AI over and over and over again. And step three is also if you don't get a perfect vanish on the bot's blast cards, just tap the bot and then go for your own blast cards, and then the bot will get hit by that 99% of the time. And also do not complete the missions for these stages on your first attempt. And get them to low HP, 
then cap their cheeks in the next fight with the condition units. So yeah guys, pretty much how I beat the USTR. Let me know how you guys think of this event. Let me know, do you like it? I highly fucking doubt it. Do you guys hate it? I, I highly expect that. And let me know your overall thoughts on it. This is EVG, the free to play guy, coming at you guys with another guide. And I will catch you guys in the next Dragon Ball Legends video. Peace out and one love, guys. Yo, guys, it's post recording ZVG here. And I forgot something very, very, very fucking important in the video. Basically, what it is is if you if you mess up something or like if a unit is about to die on your team and you, and you don't want them to die, basically what you can do is you can just close the app and go back in and then start the battle again from when the unit was alive. I've done it countless times before, as you can see right here on the screen. I did it in the Kefla fight. I, I did it in the Kefla fight against the Gohan and Goku and shit. So basically, someone was about to die, and I just like reset the game and went back to where I was originally. So I had a fair chance again, right? So also keep that in mind. That's a very good tip. So make sure you guys use that as well. And yeah.